What do you find are the keys to managing a busy schedule and getting things done? It's definitely very uh, difficult. So I think one of the things is kind of mapping it out early. Okay, what are all your obligations? Like literally take out a piece of paper, rip it, rip it in as many pieces as you have and put, okay, Russian tea room on one, real estate on one, I'm on the board of a bank on one, I'm involved, you know, with the food bank for New York, put that there, you know, involved in X, Y, and Z. So you lay it all out there so you see what your kind of obligations are. And then you have to kind of methodically map out what it is. And it's all really kind of moving pieces around the puzzle. Um, I've taken a lot on. I think being in New York kind of helps because it's just so easy to get around, you know, so it's you have the ability to kind of participate in a lot of things, which is so exciting. I think that's what makes this city so unique and gives everybody the opportunity to do even more. Um, but, it, but it's all about kind of setting very clear schedule. So what I like to do is kind of have my days mapped out as far in advance as possible. Sometimes it doesn't work and you have to alter and change. Life happens. But to whatever degree, I can block out chunks of time where, okay, between 7 a.m. And, and noon today, I'm only doing you know, real estate work because I have a couple clients who want a new space. So I have to focus on that. Put the BlackBerry on the side. Don't look at emails and just kind of focus on that. You know, so I think it's all about being present with what you're focused on. You know, at that moment. You know, so when I'm trying to do campaign stuff, I try not to be emailing about the Russian Tea Room or you know taking calls about you know some other organization or group I'm a part of. Block it out, stop it, and then do it. So I think it's good to break that up into like hour blocks, but then also kind of have that sit down time. Okay, you always have to have the ability to sit down and catch up on stuff too. So you have to carve in 30, 45 minutes throughout the day on that too. So I think it's about mapping it out and not overthinking it. You know, so what I try to do is map out the day, figure everything out, and then just try to, when that day comes, just execute and just, you know, look at where the BlackBerry tells you to go and just go. <laughs>